Hi, Peter Coombe here. Welcome to Storytime. I'd like to read you the story of the hare and the tortoise. Come on, Mr. Slowcoach, move, said the hare as he bounced up and down and round and round the tortoise who was plodding along on his short little legs carrying his hard shell on his back. Look at me, look at me, I can jump, I can run, I can do somersaults, I can run from here to the end of the paddock and back again while you're still in the same place. I get to where I need to go, said Tortoise, and when I get there I just curl up inside my own house, which I always take with me, so I'm never far from home. You're never far from home because by the time you've crawled along a few steps it's time to turn around and head back again laughed here. Look, watch me run. I can run like the wind. No one can beat me. Is that so? said Tortoise. I tell you what, let's have a race and we'll see who wins. A race? Are you kidding? I'll finish before you've even started, boasted Hare. After much giggling and hopping up and down and running around in circles on the part of the hare, and the tortoise starting to feel giddy from watching, it was agreed that they would indeed have a race the very next day. They would race from a starting line near the tool shed, go along the creek, then over the bridge, around the gum tree, through the daisies, under the fallen log, and up the hill to the gate. Birds swooped by and heard the talk of the race and busily whispered the news to all they met so that soon everyone around seemed to know of the great race. Willy Wagtail agreed to be the starter and Mouse was to be the judge at the finishing line. Finally, they all went home to prepare. Tortoise didn't have very far to go. He just curled up inside his shell. At five minutes to ten in the morning, Hare and Tortoise were at the starting line doing their stretches and warm-ups. Hare did a hundred star jumps and Tortoise stretched his neck in and out of his shell three times. Birds and animals lined the track, ready to cheer them on. Willy Wagtail hopped up to the starting line. Now, when I say Tweety, you get ready, and when I say Tweet, you start running. The first to cross the finishing line under the gate will be the winner. Do you understand? Hare and Tortoise nodded. Very well then, Tweety, Tweet! The hare shot off sprinting along in great leaps till he came to the bridge. He looked behind and saw that Tortoise had only just got his fourth leg over the starting line. This is too easy. It's not even fun, he thought. I know what I'll do. I'll eat some of this juicy, juicy green grass while I give him a chance to catch up a bit. So he ate lots of grass and his tummy was feeling quite full when he saw Tortoise plodding over the bridge. Time to fly, he said, and sprang off again in leaps and bounds, passing Tortoise, swinging around the gum tree and leapfrogging through the daisies till he came to the fallen log. He stopped and looked around. Tortoise was far behind again. The sun was shining and all that juicy grass he'd eaten before was making him feel sleepy. I'll just have a little nap by the log and when I hear Tortoise lumbering along, I'll get up and sprint the last leg up the hill, he thought. So he made himself comfortable and immediately drifted off into a lovely deep sleep. He dreamed of winning the race amidst cheers of admiration and receiving as his prize a giant carrot. Meanwhile, the tortoise was still plodding steadily along the track. He crawled around the gum tree, lumbered through the daisies, not even stopping to admire their lovely white and yellow flowers or to watch the bees buzzing around as they collected nectar. He went on and on for what seemed like hours. Eventually, he reached the log where the hare still lay sleeping and quietly inched under it then continued to amble up the hill towards the gate. As he got nearer to the gate, the birds and mice started chirping and squeaking. At first the hare thought the cheering was 
in his dream. But as it became louder, he woke up with a start and looking up to the hill where he saw the tortoise only metres away from the finishing gate. He leapt up and ran like the wind up the hill. Come on, tortoise! shouted the crowd. But tortoise just continued walking with his agonizingly slow steps. Hare put on a last frantic burst of speed, only to reach the gate just as tortoise's last leg crossed the line. Tortoise wins! squeaked the mouse. You see, said tortoise, slow and steady wins the race. And that's the end of the story.